So how hard is med school really? That's the question I'm gonna be answering in this video. All right, let's get into it. It's not as hard as you would think the first two years if, if, uh, your school, and a lot of medical schools are like this, are pe is pass-fail. Now, that's not the case at all schools, and if you're on a graded system, I've seen a lot of medical students feel a lot more pressure and stress, but my school that I went to was pass-fail for the first two years, and I'm not gonna lie, it was really, really nice. Now, if you don't have good study habits or do well in classes before medical school, I think it's good. It's a lot different. It'll be very challenging for you, and I would be concerned going in. So that's why medical schools want to see that you can do well in classes and well in the MCAT, and that way they know that you're going to be able to excel in their classes. So you take a lot of different classes when you start off medical school, and it is a ton, a ton of memorization. So you're going to be taking classes like anatomy, physiology, pathology, immunology, microbiology, and then you go through organ systems. And all of these classes are relatively hard in their own right, but because a lot of medical schools are pass-fail, it takes away that extra stress that I, I at least personally felt as a pre-med student, because when I was a pre-med student, it felt like if I didn't get an A, then I wasn't getting into medical school. So there was always that stress of like needing to be the best. Now, first of all, it's not actually true that you have to get all A's as pre-med to get into medical school, and I help students all the time that have start with much lower GPAs get in. With that said, though, you always want to do your best, and medical school students are no different. We're all still pretty type A, so everyone tries really hard, but having that pressure taken off of you for being pass-fail is really nice. So, for example, before my, I believe it was my GI exam, I tore my ACL the night before in a basketball game, and I was up to like 3 a.m., I was like, nursing my injury basically um, pretty was pretty confident I hadn't gone to the doctor yet that it was torn though um, I could like barely like walk around and so I knew the next morning like 8 a.m. that test was gonna be a shit show to say the least and so and so I knew the next morning that te that test was just not gonna go well but I also knew I had studied enough where even if I wasn't the most focused or feeling uh, great I was gonna pass that exam and this comes up with like other things like if you have a family function you need to go to or something happens uh, like a personal thing happens where you just aren't with it that week or whatever it is it's not the end of the world if you don't crush every exam at least in your first two years of medical school or some schools it's a year and a half where they do preclinicals so in that regard I really enjoyed medical school I went out more than I thought I would like to social events out to, into Manhattan uh, which was fun because I go to school in New York um, and while I studied really hard, it wasn't as bad as I think it's always made out to be. I mean, I was even able to start my company as a first year medical student. So that's uh, all in all, like my perspective on it. I think that a lot of students hype themselves up that they're never going to be able to do medical school. I think if you learn good study habits early on as a pre-med student, and you take that into medical school, then you're going to be just fine. Now, if you don't have good study habits in place, I highly recommend you watch some of my other videos or there's other great uh, resources on YouTube. Uh, medical School Insiders does a great job of giving lots of educational videos on how to study properly. I teach this in my programs as well. I'm going to be putting out more content. But learn effective study techniques. That's spaced repetition, using a question-based approach, so really doing practice questions early. Um, anything that's active recall rather than passive learning is going to really be helpful. And that's what you need in medical school because it is a lot of memorization. Now, going into third year, and I just finished my third year, it definitely gets harder and I'd say more stressful. The reason being is when you're on your clinical rotations, those are graded. And at my school, it was honors, high pass, pass, fail. And those feel like pretty high stakes rotations, especially if you want to go into a competitive specialty, you really want to do well. And so I thought that that was difficult. Third year was hard, a lot of studying, because not only are you in the hospital or in clinic or doing whatever you have to do on your rotation for eight to 12 hours a day, but then you have to come back and study for your shelf exams, which is the test you're gonna take at the end of each rotation. So doing the two of those together, there's not as much free time. And so I think that year is probably in my opinion, and I know a lot of my medical students feel the same, but not always, um, it is the hardest year. And then fourth year is generally pretty easy, except for when you're doing your away rotations. That's where you'll go to different institutions and be there for about a month in the specialty that you want. So let's say I wanted to go for orthopedics, I would do a four um, week rotation in orthopedics at a couple of different places that I would like to match at. So that's how that works. Uh, so those are really hard, but then overall fourth year is not as bad. So third year I'd say is the hardest. The first two years, the preclinical years aren't as bad if you're especially pass fail. and so. All in all, I'd say medical school has been an awesome experience for me so far. I really loved it. I learned a lot. I met great people. 
um, actually learning and doing medicine for the first time. So that's really cool. I know when you're a pre-med and even in high school, like you're dreaming of getting to that point where you're practicing doctor, which is amazing. And you know, that's still my end goal. But I think even being able to get a little taste of that while you're in medical school and start to learn the basic skills is really cool. So that's my two cents on how hard medical school is really. I'd say, yes, it's challenging. Yes, you need to know how to study well, but if you do, it's not as bad as most make it out to, to be. That's just my personal opinion. You, you feel free to agree or disagree. I'd love to hear it in the comments below. And if you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe because I'm going to be pushing out a lot more content lately. So uh, hope to talk to you soon and uh, I'll see you in the next video.